Today, and Adam Eaton, the starter for the pod's very first pitch to pool hole, 66 mile an hour, plunker, and immediately he is tossed by the um, considerable angst as you see between pool holes and Bennett shoving. Benches come out. Was this all intentional, you think? I hit him with a curveball. I mean, if I'm going to hit him, I'm going to hit him with a fastball uh, to send a message, not with a curveball. If someone were to throw at somebody, it, 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 99 percent of the time, it's not going to be with a breaking ball. Yeah, see, Frazier just yeah, slipped out. Well, we hit each yeah. other. It's usually with a fastball in the newsroom. <laughs> Pujols, Bennett exchanging recipe ideas. And you see a little punch. He's a power hitter, not a power puncher. Just a love tap. Bennett, he would get tossed. Pujols, he would get tossed. Pujols picked off. Nick Johnson throws to second base. Got him. Pujols is upset. He didn't think so. He thought he got in there safely. Arguing with the second base umpire, Paul Nauert. But well, that ends the inning. No runs, one hit, nobody left. And, and the question play. is, how much longer will Albert Pujols be at first base? As he argues with uh, Larry Poncino, Tony La Russa coming out there, Pujols still thinking that he was safe at second base after being picked off by John Halama. Boy, he's fired up. He may get tossed here. Two, two. Swing and a miss. Make that seven in a row retired by De La Rosa. One out here, the sixth. Seven strikeouts now for De La Rosa. As uh, Andy Fletcher, or Mike Sosha, I should say, is run out there to meet Andy Fletcher. And uh, to be perfectly honest with you, considering where the dugouts sit, the visiting dugouts sit here in this ballpark, I don't know how a home plate umpire can determine who or what said something to. Get him ejected from the dugout. The it's bottom of the eighth inning. What you didn't see is that Albert Pools was ejected after being called out on strikes. Didn't like the call, thought the pitch was down and in. And well, uh, he let somebody know, and then he got wrong. Mike Sosha came out and argued a little bit, but uh, to no avail. Almost got oh, to chase that. He did up. go around. The first base umpire Ramon de Jesus rings up Pujols. Mike Sosha trying to protect Albert Pujols in that one. Albert not happy at all. Mike Sosha not happy at all. Here comes the one two. Called strike three. Paints the fastball on the inside part of the plate. Pujols certainly not happy. You seldom see him get that upset. He gets tossed by Vic Carapaza. Well, I can't remember a game when Albert has got thrown out of a ball game. Two days. Bottom eight, Indrin's up 3-1. Andrew Lorraine facing Ken Griffey Jr. Jr. doesn't like the call. Rookie umpire Justin Clem tosses Jr. and it is on. Ken said later, before seeing a replay, I don't get mad very often. If I'm wrong, I'll apologize. If he's wrong, we'll shake. Jim Tomey comes to the plate. And Real Cormier, oh boy, here we go again. Hits him and Tomey did not hesitate. Another ball ensues here. I watched Jason Veritek come out and just pull down David Justice right there. And then Sox manager Jimmy Williams had to be held back by Pedro Martinez. Both Tommy and Cormier were ejected. Helmet of the catcher for a pitch as high. Strike three. That didn't look to be as good a pitch as the previous one. McGuire really shouldn't be. He was lucky to still be standing there after he watched the previous pitch go by. Well, I think umpires consciously do that. They miss a pitch. They know they miss a pitch. They come back. A pitcher makes a quality pitch, and they give it to him. Mm -hmm. I don't agree with that. I think if you miss a pitch, don't give it back to the guy because now the hitter has to expand his strike zone. That's but still, true. Nonetheless, both of those pitches were pretty good pitches. When you get into it, he has been ejected. He tossed the helmet away as he went into the dugout and he was ejected rich garcia making sure perhaps he's ejected somebody else he is between the ninth and tenth dennis eckersley thought he was being squeezed by dale scott and scott throws eckersley out of the game tony la Russa comes out and argued for quite some time and then phil garner came out nielsen and then everybody Troy, came out. Here comes Troy Neal, and he went in, and he knocked Troy out. Neal goes after Dickie, Dickie Thon. Thon Watch the lower left. Tommy Reynolds connecting with started. Brewers coach Tim Foley. The big hit as Edwin Nunez 
takes a punch at B.J. Serhoff. And then Mark McGuire has to be restrained. A 25-minute delay, and the end result, a bloody face for B.J. McGuire. That's a call third strike, and what does Mark do? Mark gets angry. He takes out his frustrations, not only on the umpire. Mark decided to head into the dugout. Little ice, little Gatorade. How about some garbage? Yeah, there we go. Brewers. Home plate umpire Rich Garcia and Mark McGuire got into it here. You can't argue balls and strikes, and McGuire is out of the yard. Hate him once earlier, and McGuire. Watch if the ball crosses over the plate or inside. Seemed to go over the plate, buried inside after it crossed. McGuire says no, it crossed there. And then McGuire gets cross. And guess what? Gone! Jim Joyce throws him out. And McGuire throws out some things. Bats, helmets, lumber, give me those. Couple more. Yep. And McGuire in. One, two for the homers against Tom Glavin. Maybe a ball. McGuire thought so. But the rookie up, Sam Holbrook, rings him up. Max hot. Tony La Russa comes out to argue. Now, La Russa was complimentary about this thump just the other day. This time, he's tossed. La Russa's excused. McGuire's disputatious. He's also out of the game. And then he uses his strength on Rene Latchman in an attempt to get near Holbrook. Latchman would finally calm down, and McGuire escort him off the field. They're so cute at this age. Now, judge for yourself on whether it was a ball or whether it was a strike. Ray, go ahead and make your comments here. Watch it. Well, from this view, it certainly looks down, and I, I know that they call the front of the plate as a strike Watch when the you other see angle now. Right, and at this angle, you see it cut just below the front part of his knee. McGuire, I think, has as good eye as anybody in baseball. There's Levine facing Mark McGuire. Full count, top four. McGuire takes the pitch on the outside corner. Greg Bonet rings him up. Oh, no, he didn't, y'all. McGuire is on it. Tony La Russa said later McGuire didn't cuss, but the umpire warned him not to stay out there. McGuire got the boot, and on his way out, Yo, dude, Mark McGuire gave me his gloves, and I'm never going to wash them. Bottom of the third, McGuire, 3-2 count. High strike called by Mike Everett. And a little tete a tete between Mike and uh, Mac. And Mike tells Mac, shower up. He tosses out Big Mac in St. Louis. Front, bottom four, Joe Bimel facing Mark McGuire. High and inside. Check that. Strike three. McGuire tries to hand umpire Tim Timmons his bat and helmet, and Timmons is no bat boy. Uh, Mark, uh, here you go. Winners of seven straight against the Reds, who aren't. Bottom four, Mark McGuire looks at strike three from Jose Acevedo. And McGuire will express some displeasure with this call to Tim Timmons, who tosses him out for the second time this year.